Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom Grocery Haul Time. I have two grocery hauls for you. This first one is just a few things from BJ's. Um, if you are curious, if you've been following me for a while, I actually live closer now to a BJ's than I ever have before since starting YouTube. Um, so if you are seeing me or noticing me going there more often, that's pretty much the reason. Um, I have a BJ's about 15 minutes away and I've never had that privilege before. When I lived in South Carolina, my closest BJ's was like 45 minutes away. So anyways, I was in the area, I needed a few things. Uh, they had some great coupons, so I picked up what I needed. Um, one of the things I needed was mozzarella cheese, and these were two bags, two 12-ounce bags for $6.99. So I thought that was pretty good. One I'm going to throw in the freezer, and one I'll throw right in my meat and cheese drawer. Uh, we go through these lint rollers more in the colder months because we're wearing like sweaters and sweatshirts. Um, we have a cat, so I like to be lint-free. I always have one of these in my car, one in the laundry room. Um, I just, we always need these, and they were on sale for $8.99 for this uh, five pack. I got the Duke's uh, smoked sausages. You guys know I love these. I've loved these for a couple years now. Um, and I've always passed this up at BJ's, but today was the day I got it. It was $8.99. Um, it's a much bigger bag than you can get at like Walmart for I think $4.50. Um, so I got these and I'll just portion them out individually for snacking or Matt's lunches. I got one of the things I needed at BJ's uh, was this fresh step. Uh, lightweight cat litter with a Febreze. Um, this is a dual pack, so there's two packages in here. It was $17.99, and then I had a manufacturer's coupon for $3, so it was a much better deal to get it there than at Walmart. Uh, we needed some greens, because we have romaine already, so I got this Fresh Express Salad Mix Herb uh, Mix. It was like $2.50, I believe. We needed sliced cheese, so I went ahead and got cheddar since Matt likes it and I like it. So this was like $6.99, I think, for the, um, this is huge. It's like a 32-ounce pack of sliced sharp cheddar, which is perfect for sandwiches, burgers, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, Grady smoothies, he drinks one of these a day. This is a 12-pack. So I can get just under two weeks out of one of these um, in the strawberry flavor. Um, so I grabbed those. We needed parm cheese. So I got the BJ's house brand, Wellesley Farms shredded parm cheese. I've been liking the shredded better than the grated lately. Um, and this was $6.49, I believe, or $6.99 for this big thing. We are out of whole milk. So I got, I've never tried this brand. It's the Burn Hollow Farm. I'm guessing maybe that's a local-ish brand. It sounds familiar. But anyways, it is an organic, 100% grass-fed whole milk. We only go through about a half gallon per month, um, which is like my husband's cereal in the morning sometimes, or baking, or things like that. So it's about $4 for this. I got my Natural Bliss Coffee Creamer, um, the big one. This will last me a couple of months, maybe about six weeks, actually. But I like this sweet cream flavor. This was on a good coupon. It was $2.50 off. Uh, and this is the Go Go Squeeze Fruit and Veggies Pouches. My son really likes these. So there's eight Petal Peach and eight Boulder Berry. Um, so good price on those. And lastly, another thing I went in for were the Clorox Toilet Wands. Uh, we love these. My husband cleans our bathrooms every weekend, and he just loves these. So I got the 36-pack, which will last a good long while. Um, and I think this was like $15-ish, maybe $16. But again, it's a 36-pack, so it'll last a long time. Uh, I think I spent about $110 on all of this stuff. Food is just so expensive and household items. But anyways, this is what I got at BJ's, and I'm going to share with you now the rest of the stuff I got for the week. Hey, guys, so this haul is from Price Chopper. Uh, I think almost everything I got on sale, with the exception of a couple items, um, and I went there because specifically because a lot of the sale items uh, were things that I needed to stock up on. So first, soda. Um, I only have about one a day as a treat. I used to drink like five a day, literally, but now I have one diet soda a day as like a treat. But mainly I got these, A, because they were on sale, but B, we have people over all the time. Um, especially since we move home. I mean, last week alone, my sister was here one night, my mom was here one day, my brother's coming uh, tomorrow, uh, football, we have neighbors and friends over, so I'm just finding I'm constantly needing drinks, like drinks like this where I can have a variety of things that people need, uh, that people can, you know, choose from when they're over. So these were four for nine or four for ten for 
the large tall bottle six pack so much cheaper um, to pay either two or 250 you know per six pack so I got a six pack of diet dr. pepper a six pack of dr. pepper a six pack of brisk iced tea and a six pack of my soda the diet Mountain Dew um, so again this is not like me and Matt are gonna drink this all in a week this is just gonna be used for football people over you know I can pack one in Matt's lunch that kind of thing so if you're the soda police I apologize if that makes you unhappy uh, but we needed it um, I love these rolls I've been buying these for years except when we lived in the Carolinas because I don't think they had these maybe they do um, these are the Enzio and Sons I don't know what it is about these but they're just so good um, sandwich rolls so I got these they weren't on sale unfortunately um, I got one of these last month, um, the Funfetti cupcakes and the frosting, and Grady and I already made it, so I got another one since, you know, Halloween's right around the corner and it won't be available anymore, and it was cheap. Um, so I got another one just to put away for a rainy day because Grady really enjoyed making the cupcakes with me. Uh, they had cornbread, cornbread on for a dollar. Um, it was nice and warm just coming out of the bakery. Uh, normally it's $2.99, but it was on for a dollar this week, so I grabbed that gallon of water for my coffee I think it's 89 cents the shrimp rings shrimp cocktail rings were buy one get one so I paid about ten dollars for two um and they're both going to go in the freezer for now but these are great for football when people come over and if one makes it that long I'll bring it to my mom's bring another one to my mom's for Thanksgiving but it might not even make it that long um I've been craving pot roast uh, I watch a channel on Sundays called uh, marriage and motherhood I love Gia from that channel you should check her out she does a Sunday setup uh, video every Sunday, and it's really motivating for me, um, especially since Sunday is the day where I get a lot of things done around my home. But anyway, she made a beef pot roast. It just looked phenomenal, so I got one. I have plenty of meat. I just don't didn't have pot roast beef, but, but I already have pork chops, chicken, ground beef, uh, ground turkey. This is the only thing that I didn't have, and I really want to make a pot roast. So you can probably guess pot roast is going on the menu this week, and this thing is huge. We'll definitely have leftovers with that. Uh, Yo Plate was on 20 yogurts for $10. I don't eat yogurt a whole lot, which you guys know. So I did get four because they ended up being so cheap, like 50 cents, I think. Um, so I got a mixed berry, a strawberry, a blueberry, and a cherry. Um, if I was a yogurt person, I would definitely have stocked up, but I'm not. Got some rare roast beef for my husband's lunches next week. Uh, Tostitos were on for $1.88 or $1.99, um, which is good. So I got two since we go through a bag a week. Um, good price on those. Uh, to go along with the pot roast, I did grab this pot roast seasoning mix. Um, it's probably not necessary, but I just thought it would be something a little extra I could add to this. I got a big thing of enchilada sauce because I want to make those next week. Um, I've been wanting to make them, just haven't gotten the chance to. I got some tomato sauce to restock the pantry because I always like to have one of these on hand for anything you can imagine. Two cans of tomato soup because I want to do grilled cheese and tomato soup one night with a salad. Uh, the Blue Diamond Nut Thins were two for four, so I got the Honey Mustard and the Country Ranch, which are two flavors I've never tried, but I really like the texture of these. I got some Ditalini. I do need to stock up on pasta soon, but it was not on sale, so I just got the one that I needed. But when Barilla goes on sale, I plan to get like 10 boxes in different kinds because I, I really need to stock my pasta. And then Quaker granola bars were on for $1.88. So I got two boxes of eight of my son's uh, less sugar chocolate chip bars, which he eats one of those a day usually after school. This all was $77, I believe. Um, yeah, it was like 77 and change. Um, so yeah, these are the groceries for the week and I'm going to share my meal plan now for the upcoming week. Okay, so my meal plan for the upcoming week. Sunday is football, and I really, it's kind of still up in the air. Uh, I was actually a bit under the weather this week. I wasn't sick. I've just been having my nasal and sinus issues. Uh, I'm actually going to be going to the doctor today, uh, the day that I'm filming this. Uh, but for Sunday, not really sure yet. Um, if we have friends over, they mentioned probably bringing like pizza and wings. Uh, so I don't really know. We are supposed to get a little snow on Saturday. It's kind of still up in the air for Sunday. Um, and the weather's kind of a factor. So Sunday's kind of a question mark right now. Uh, one night next week, I'm going to do that pot roast with some cornbread. I'll just throw like some carrots and onion um, in with the roast along with that um, pot roast packet that I got. 
Uh, one night for my no meat, I'm going to do some cream of broccoli soup. I'm not sure if I have some frozen still. Um, I don't think I do, so I'll probably make a fresh batch. I do have a cooking video on this, so I'll link it below. And then I'll just do a salad and bread with that. Uh, I'm going to do some stuffed shells. I was going through my pasta cabinet and found a box of the stuff, you know, the shell pasta. So I'm going to make the sausage and spinach stuffed shells with a salad. I've been wanting Philly cheesesteaks, so I'm going to pick up some uh, really thinly uh, shaved steak uh, from the meat counter at Price Chopper. Um, I'll get it nice and fresh. Uh, so I'll make like Philly cheesesteak style sandwiches and then some oven fries. I think I have a couple bags of uh, like frozen Alexia fries that I can uh, bake up. And then I do have a Trader Joe's walnut shrimp uh, in my freezer still um, that's been since the time before last Trader Joe's trip. So I want to go ahead and use that up, so I'll make that. I'll grab some sticky rice if I don't already have it. And then I did find another bag of edamame, so I'll make that as well to use that up. And then, of course, my freebie night, um, which I can kind of just have free reign of making whatever I feel like, whether that's breakfast leftovers or something completely uh, different. But anyways, this is a meal plan for the upcoming week. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <music>